guys welcome to my channel thought I would um, show today of how I store my small leather goods and this is a bit of a before and a after sort of video and at the moment what I do is I have them just in the drawer in these plastic containers lined up and I have them in their various dust bags and I've labeled them just because I got tired of trying to remember what was in each one and for all the different brands they have different sort of bags so this one obviously is the Chanel one and the Saint Laurent and we have Givenchy and what else do I have? I think I have Dior in there, Dior. So they all have different sort of dust bags. I put them in there. I can't tell like what they are, can't see them. So I thought I'd make something a little bit easier so I could just see in at a glance what I've got. Because I do like to keep them in the dust bags because I have them stacked up and I don't want the leathers or the canvas touching each other, any transfer or anything like that. And I did at one stage have them all just laid out and laid flat side by side in a drawer. But I found that just took up too much room so I stopped doing that. Now I do like the concept of this Chanel one because you can just see from the top what it is. So I'll, um, I'll show you what I did with my uh, small leather goods. Okay, what I've done is I've made these pockets that are just basically the same sizing and material as the Chanel one. This is the original Chanel one and you can take the card holder out and see how they sit just a little bit stiff and open. So you can just put your small leather goods in it easily. There's no problems with that. So I made this one basically the same size as the Chanel one because I just found that sizing worked for practically every small leather good that I have. Now what I used was this sort of material. This is an upholstery material. So it's got that velvet feel on the outside and it's a bit thick on the inside. And this is just a cotton poplin just for the lining. And these are just off cuts. But the sizing that I used was 19 by 17 centimeters or seven and a half by six and a half inches. And you can customize them to anything you like. Now I'm not gonna do a tutorial on it. It was a fairly basic thing. You put right sides together of your outside material, you sew it down, turn it the right way around, sew down the cotton liner, but you don't need to turn that the right way around because it just goes inside. And then I just folded the outside edge in and the cotton edge in so it gives you that neat finish and then just sew it very closely to the edge and you can see it gives a fairly nice neat finish of the lining and it all worked well and I know there's other ways to do it you can sew it around and turn it inside out but I just made two pockets dropped them inside each other and sewed along the edging and that worked for me Okay, so what I did was I've made up all those pockets and then they fitted nicely into my trays. You see my Chanel one and I just think that's great. I can just look down and straight away I can see my coin purse, Zippy coin purse, pocket organizer. I can see everything that I want. I can just grab it out nice and easily. Everything looks uniformed, neat and I love it. I think it works well for me. And this is how the drawer looks now, nice and neat. I can see all my purses. Everything's easy, clean. I can just take it out, drop it back in, and it has a spot, easily to change. And what I forgot to mention, but I do, is often these little, um, these little gel packs that you get to stop the moisture in your handbags, often I just get them and I just drop them in when I store things in the dust bags just to absorb everything so that's normally what I do with that so there you go so if you want to see an update or my whole collection of my small leather goods let me know and I um, hope this helps someone and I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and I'll see you next time